Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on uh, what some consider UCS Joan Grievous, or at least... Well, but could it be UCS? Possibly, but yeah. Well, or uh, otherwise, just Joan Grievous from 2008, of course. So on the front of this large box here have the like Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and uh, also the red Darth Vader border there. Picture of General Grievous in the back right there, of course. Recommended ages 14 up, set number 101186, General Grievous. And also how you can rotate it to the base, but yeah. And onto the back of which see same picture of General Grievous again and also how you can swap out the arms, rotate the base, and move his head and the logos again. And so now onto the instruction manual. As you can see, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. Get two of this of course. On the back, add for some Clone War sets that there were at the time, and just a little step there. Second manual, which on the back is win on the online survey. Then add of Lego Club, and add of all the features that you can do, and all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last step. So now, on to General Grievous himself. Oh, it's quite large for a build a figure, of course. Well, and of course, as we all saw in, in recent years, have that for BB-8, Porg, and the Child, of course, and yeah. And I think he, which is what kind of got that thing started, or whatever. Or from the Technic figures from 2000 through 2003 or so, but yeah. So now, let's start from the ground up like I always do. <clears throat> you see the base part of which, whole ton of tiles on there, of course, and also the plaque that says Star Wars, and it's just General Grievous and his General Grievous' face on there, but doesn't show his stats or anything, and also a little technique that we don't see anymore is where a single sticker is over multiple pieces, of course, so, so glad about that change, and yeah, an interesting technique used for this space here, but yeah. And also, all of this, which, on the rotating plate, of course, so you can see every bit of him, but yeah. And the feet, of which does look just about like his feet, of course, an interesting use of those uh, hammer pieces there to hold in place, but although the lights, it Regular lightsaber rod bits could have worked just fine, but yeah. And that's for his legs, which just about like in the movie, and also like in Clone Wars. And as you can see, it does have the longish curved slope and smallish jagged slope on there, which do kind of come in and out, of course. And also, do get a couple of all the usual uh, technique beams to hold to make the legs, of course, and upper part of which does have some of those, like, curved slopes acting as his, the thickness of his thighs, of course, and also on the back of which, some more of that as well. And also a couple of ratcheted joints on there so you can, like, rotate it backwards like he's going right back, or does right frontwards, of course. And so now for his upper body, which, as you see, good use of some of these uh, kind of curved plate, brick and plate pieces, and a couple of which that do have stickers There's on them, of course. And also, right in there is underneath this uh, translucent yellow dome piece, is, as you can see, is a Jedi hood piece, or I mean just traditional hood piece in brown, and also a couple of, like plant vines or some call the 
many parochials, a barnacle, of course, but yeah. But just representing his in internal organs, of course, but yeah. And as for the arms of which, it was also made of these smallish technic uh, bits to it, and also, so, and leads to some system bits for the finishing up, and, and of course they do uh, rotate made in and out, but that's the only point of articulation on it. And also, on each arm you get one of these, like, uh, copter blade pieces, or copter pieces on there, acting as extra paneling to him. And as for each hand or hand of which, as you can see, comprised of mainly Exoforce hand pieces, which carry on from Hydraxon and Bionicle, of course, but yeah. And of course, with each lightsaber, which you can hang in that bit, of course, and made of these single cone pieces, or I mean, cylinder pieces and ending with a cone, and unique build for the hilts, of course. But at least, unlike with the recent uh, 2019 UCS Yoda, also didn't have that, but yeah. Or Bilbo Yoda, of course, but yeah. It has to see, all quite the same, of course. And also included with him, where you can like take out the top arms, of course, and swap that with which you get two of our two of these like curved slope pieces with some uh, added bits to them to like add on to that to represent him with just two arms, like he sometimes, oftentimes has. Oh, whoops. And yeah, and that last of which, and now on to the head, of which, well, re represents him quite a, very well. Like, of course, does have some red and yellow there, representing his eyes and the uh, flesh part of uh, lower the eyes, of course, and also some good use of the slopes as different paneling to him, and also you do get around four of these black two pieces, and of course the head's on a ball joint, but, oh whoops, hindered by the tube, of course. And also, if you can get a good glimpse of how that is, it's quite well done, interesting build to that. And also, do you get a few more slopes here, as a collar bit to it. And as for all of the back here, see it's quite good coverage with a lot of slopes and also those little pieces acting as probably a artificial spine or something. And also jagged slope on there and a large bit to there, but yeah. And so now for a little comparison is with the 2015 billable figure version of General Grievous here, which, as you can see, he was a lot larger, but, of course, he, in 2008, was about $90, and he, in 2015, was around $35. So, of course, and, of course, he system technic-based, and he CCBS kind of base, but, yeah. And, as you can see, back, uh, UCS Grievous here was, of course, is all white, and of course, other Grievous here is in tan. Kind of interesting. But of course, he was probably episode 3 based and also was sometimes white, but usually in the older style version, Cold Wars. But yeah. And also, of course, the other Grievous here can, like, arms split, of course, which in the film in episode 3 kind of did. But this one just didn't. But of course, you can detach the arms, which you can do on both. But yeah. And also, actually, has two toes, but the other one did have three, of course. And now, if 
three was here was remade. I expect there. I think it could be tan. Oh, whoops. Or it could be tan, but whatever. Or maybe as white, obviously. And also let the eyes be uh, printed tiles. Or printed round tiles, of course. Yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on this, on him is, oh, hang on. So overall, I think he of which is a quite cool set for the time. Like, despite being UCS, but at least still worthy of that. And for the build of which, uh, quite great for as he is. Although, maybe a little taller than some recent sets, some recent build figure sets, but he of course is kind of where that trend started, but if I were to suggest for other ones of which, I expect there to obviously be another version of him, or C-3PO and whatnot, but yeah. But if he, but once again, if he, this, if he were to be remade, well, I think it could be a little similar to this, but Maybe with some more articulation, but yeah. So he, which kind of a sign of the times, but I can forgive how this came out, but yeah. And of course, kind of a good standout for the rest other UCS sets, but yeah. And so now if you know, still have him from back in the day, well, I hope I have some great memories of him. And for those of you who haven't and still have that, still considering getting him, well, definitely pick him up if you can, but yeah. And like on eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.